their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. And he landed the right hand there. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Nice great punch. And he caught the kick. Blocks the shot. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl. Piece. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Big kick land. Counters there with a jab to the head. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this. Hands high, hands high. He blocks the punch. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Flush right hand is true. Let's go, you can do this. Beautiful body can land right under the elbow. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, that right hand is on point. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Flips the punch. Nice body kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. He missed with that jab attempt there. Blocks that strike. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Beautiful body kick. Oh, nice. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, blocks the shot. Oh, head kick Lance was hurt. Big punch Lance. Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Watch the shot. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Connects with a right. Oh, connects with another uppercut. Take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Yeah, 
Nice, mixed it all up. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. That's it. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Nice, sneaky head kick. So what a round it was for him, particularly when it comes to those body kicks, DC. Landed those body kicks every single time he threw them. Every time he decided body kick is going to be the strike, it landed. His opponent needs to do something different or this fight is not going to last much longer. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Nice connection on the counter punch there. And Oftentimes, DC can be easier to be a counter-striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, big punch land. Guy's oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Great punch. Real sneaky body kick. Ooh. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Unable to connect there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Looking for that left hand, not there. Beautiful kick. Oh, good kicks. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big punch land. Ooh. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Watch the shot. Oh! Oh! He lands and lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. 
Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, big left hook there. How about that shin? Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Beautiful body kick. Able to land with the left hand. Campbell inches right there. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice leg kick land. Just missed on the front kick there. Oh. Oh, straight right. Entertaining scrap so far. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Big kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. And they separate. Right hand upstairs. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Switching stances here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your... Yeah, we see land right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Punch over the top. Nice head kick. Oh, a huge block there. Beautiful leg kick. Roll. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. What a punch. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Right hand upstairs. Just missed with the straight left hand. Out of range with that one. Punches blocked. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. 
I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give him. Nicely done there to keep his hands up and block that strike. He's got to protect that cut if he wants to keep it. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right! All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Be first, be first. Not there. Touched by that kick there. Goes to the body there. Waning seconds here of round. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly. And it hurt him very bad. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. And they separate. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. with the leg kick. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. And both guys really throwing with authority. Ooh, what a punch. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh, Tom Brady. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. It's not over, it's not over. Good punch. Punch coming, it's blocked. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking team. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was a significant strike that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. 
Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he... Oh, a violent strike to the body. This could be the end. I mean, this fight is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot to the body. Oh, brutal knee to the body. Oh, Good punch lands. Big knee. It's such a fast leg kick. Man, it doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Blocks the shot. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Leak. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're a top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. There, huge block for him. Nice head kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Won't finish this fight. Oh, that's a good right hand. Man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Well, he's got to be on top of the world, dominating this fight. The stamina still on point. He didn't skip those Versa Climber days, that's for sure. No, this has to feel good. This has to feel like everything he did in the training camp has worked to perfection. Look at him and try to replicate that before his next fight. Oh, huge block! Tonight, good work here by Lee. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Been busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Let's go. Push, push, push. Get 
quarter, three minutes now to go round five. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling should really be entertaining. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this oh! option. And just like that, the fight is over. Unbelievable. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. Kind of just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliotti has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 26 seconds of round number five. Declare the winner by knockout.